um, you know, like a rundown of the positions of the you know the game game as it is so far. Both these, games, these two, yes. And then, and your opinion right now? Yeah, just like uh, maybe like um, five minutes or so, probably not even that. Yeah, long. well, um, top two boards. I mean, all grandmasters on all four mm-hmm. boards, and um, oh, the, I think um, Amanov is uh, an IM. Okay, well, well, I mean, but he, yeah, he is the name of Amanov. It feels like a grandmaster to me yes. because because <laughs> of our Amanov. And basically, I think both of those positions are approximately equal. Um, and in both games, um, both players, white and black, are playing very solidly and very conservatively. Both are variations of Queen's Gambit declined. Although, actually, one game is a Catalan and the other one is a slop defense. But um, they both have the same tension with the pawn on C4 and the pawn on D5. So they both have some very similar themes of uh, the tension building up. Uh, but the black having a solid foundation. So in, in this case, I think the blaze really benefits from the fact that they have draw odds in the match. Yeah. Uh, I have a question about uh, Kachian. Uh, he, he, he played uh, H6 and uh, G5. I don't know which order he did it in, but uh, I mean, like, is that is that normal in a Slav that uh, you, play, you play those moves? Or I know you try to... Oh, you mean Sometimes A6? Like, you mean A6? Eight, I'm sorry, A6. A6 right. and A6. B5? Yeah, A6 and B5, you're right. Yeah, this is uh, now has a name. If they call it the Cherbenenko uh-huh. system. Okay. It's become very popular. Uh, <coughs> the player who plays that in the United States the most is Grandmaster Gadikamsky, okay. who is uh, maybe he's our current U.S. champion. So, um, But this is none of this is new to Shulman. Uh, Shulman, mm-hmm. of course, had to play against Kamsky in this exact openings already. So <coughs> Shulman played all his moves quickly and um, played his preparation. And this is a kind of position that's already well known now in Shulman's game. Uh, you can already see Black has a, a, a small weakness in the pawn on uh, C6. So, um, you know, this is, this is uh, I think... Um, I think Shulman knows exactly what he's doing, and um, I'm, I'm not at all worried about Shulman losing that game. I think Shulman's pressing for for a win, <coughs> but but Black, I think Black could could take measures to equalize that game. Mm-hmm. The second game on a Fredell's game is is very complicated. There's no, been no pieces exchanged at all. Mm-hmm. Not even one pawn has been traded. But having said that, you can see that Black has completely arranged his pieces in a very uh, logical and almost classical formation so I, I think black has a full equality there but the real fight is still ahead in that game and okay. anything could happen I mean they we we'll have to see what the next maneuvering stage looks like okay so so there's just too much attention to predict any uh, decisive result in these games I I would actually say they look approximately equal but I think white is slightly better in showman's game right. so um, this is where you want to be if you have draw odds Excellent. In positions like this. I think we're going to come back and try and do the same thing in about another hour and a half and then at least talk about these two games. Yeah, how, oh, exactly. the same exact games because you can't get the, the other two boards. Right, out of this, right. right. That's, that's, that's the only drawback to this. Yeah, but, now, uh, um, the interesting thing about Gurbich and uh, Tata mm-hmm. is I've had games against each of those players on the respective colors of that opening. So it's a, it's a Kings Indian Classical. I defended that exact line against Dimitri Gurbich once with black and lost. And then one time I was white against Tata uh, in the uh, Chicago Open and that same line in 96, Kings Indian. I lost against her. So in the opening that, that Gurbich and uh, Abrahma, 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 Abrahma yeah. are playing, I've, I've, I've lost games to both of them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm watching that game with a lot of interest. It's interesting. All right. Uh, well, thank you. The, thank the you. game I think we're in the most danger in actually is, is Schmeichel. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, with, the, with that London system. He's got a perfect playing. London system that White always goes for with that, a uh, that better place position. Than each, it? Oh, no, it's no, just no. that White's pieces are very well placed, and uh-huh. Black has a bad bishop. His White's good bishop is inactive. Okay. White stands slightly better there. So, um, Schmidt. But you wouldn't want to play that if you had if you had to win, would you? Or do you think? Because that, 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 well, uh, that was a comment that was made in the, in the Whisper. Well, Schmenko will have to play very, very carefully to equalize that for a draw. Okay. And and he has, Black has zero winning chances right okay. now. So, um... Oh, and just to let uh, YouTube viewers know, um, the, uh, this is Jay uh, Lim, uh, assistant manager Blaze, uh, recording this, and uh, I'm talking to Albert Chow. Uh, um, Fide Master and sometimes games commentator for Chicago Blaze. That's right, and uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about some of the games as they're in progress. So the next uh, update will be in another hour or so. We talk. Uh, we talk about the first board, first and second boards again. Okay. Thanks, viewers. <laughs>